greetings, greetings, Karim, she's delicious, keep there. Welcome to your love tarot reading. Today we are going to take a look at you and your person, whatever that means to you. Situationship, relationship, bumble date, marriage. Let's take a look at Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Let's see what is coming through. Ah, oh, for you and your person. We are assuming some kind of a rift or separation between you and your bit boo, and this is your May 2023 vibe track, baby. Oh, Cancer. You know, you're dealing with somebody who was trying to do too much. They're trying to do too much. You found out something. This person was juggling you with something else here. Let's see what it was. I'm not a fan of this energy. I'm going to be honest with you, Cancer. We try and keep it light and, you know, mm, scrimmages here at Blue and Joe Left Tarot, but I don't like this energy. I think that somebody was trying to double cross you. They do see you as someone who found out their secret, the Page of Swords. You were just a little too smart for them. They underestimated you. They thought that your abundance of love and your scrumptious, sparkly, beautiful, moisturized soul, they just thought like you were just too loving. And they thought that the love would be infinite no matter what they did. Somebody was trying to juggle something here. Uh, yeah, the emperor, you know, they were trying to be the boss no matter what. Boss you around, do whatever they want, and they expected you to just accept it. And that was not the case, and they did not like it. You know, they did not like that the cancer was like, okay, no more. Let's see, please show me angels what happened in the past to make the situation so. Also, cancer, before we get into your person's drama, let me just say welcome to Blue Angel Love Tarot if you are new. And if you are a returning Blue Angel, thank you, I appreciate you. I love you, I see you, baby. Give mommy a kiss. Mm -hmm. Give me another kissy, baby. Mm -hmm. Cancer, happy Saturday. We are doing Saturday Night Dead. <laughs> Saturday Night Live uh, with the Dead. We're doing necrom a necromancy live tonight at 8 p.m. Pacific time, uh, which is going to be around uh, 11, not around, it's going to be <laughs> 11 p.m. Um, Eastern. And it's going to be so much fun, with babe. So join me tonight if you want to. We're going to be taking questions for, uh, PayPal questions for necromancy, uh, talking to the spirits uh, of the dead oracle, and also we are going to be taking love questions. Mm, cancer baby, I really feel you. You know, I, I really don't like doing these readings where it's like someone's cheating, you know, because, you know, you know your story best. You got the receipts. Don't ever, ever base, you know, that opinion of someone on a general, you know, energy terror reading somewhere on the Internet, right? I'm just a random woman on the Internet with an inflatable alien here to my side. But I think you, you were dealing with a cheater, or at least a wandering eye, and you figured it out and you knew it. Um, Ace of Wands. It's someone who did love you, but in their opinion, love is like, you know, there's like the partner that you love, and then there's people that you do other things with, you know? So they saw you as their soulmate, they, they still see you as their soulmate, but they kind of expected to have like, you know, reign of the field, you know, like play the game. They wanted to play the game. And it caused you a lot of heartbreak, a lot of sleepless nights, you know. It's someone who was leaving you all by yourself in your bed at night. Uh, if it was a bimbo himbo, anyone in between you met on Tinder on a Tuesday, baby, you kind of felt like something was like sitting uneasy with you. It was somebody who, who had, like, they were keeping their options open. They were, you know, talking to you and another person or other people and you figured it out. And, you know, they don't like that. They feel like they want to continue doing, you know, what they're doing. There's something here about this person, you know, maybe, you know, if you're dealing with a masculine energy, somebody here is driving a very small car and they're trying to make their car look bigger by trying to like play the game, you know. Um, you know what I'm saying, Cancer? Let me know in the comments below if it was a small car. It's a t very tiny car. I'm trying to make it bigger here like the Ace of Wands, but you know, no amount of playing the game is going to make your car bigger, but bail just a little bit. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna get, don't cancel me, okay? But it's true. If it was um, an established connection, somebody who believes that, look, even the card fl flew down, the Ace of Wands flew down. If it's an established connection, somebody who believes that, you know, you have your wife, husband, anyone in between, and then you have your other boo-boos, you know? It's, it's somebody who, like, has that mentality and is just causing so much distress. It was in the past. Someone who sees you as their wish fulfillment, the Nine of Cups, but it may very well be that they want to have their cake and eat it to cancer. So it's, you know, up to what you want to do with that. 
they're still juggling. They're still like doing the clown stuff. You know, someone's very disappointed here at the bottom of the deck. You know, there's disappointment. They're mourning at the ending. Um, you know, um, Mm, but it's a very selfish energy, you know, they lost something that they, you know, they lost their cake and eating it too. That's what they lost. They, they, they want to have it all. Um, you're like, you know, the ideal to them. You're like the scrumptious little bit there who's, uh, you know, in the ideal sphere. They want to idolize you. They want to put you on a pedestal. And I think they treated you really well. But you always knew or felt that there were other people involved in this connection. I'm so sorry, but Bill. we hardly ever do readings like this. And, you know, like I say... Take what resonates from these general readings. If you have the receipts that someone was cheating, then this is just your confirmation. <sighs> I don't like this person, Cancer. I'm so sorry. The Nine of Wands here is telling me, you know, in terms of their next action, they don't really know how to proceed. They don't like the fact that you challenged them. They don't like the fact that you figured them out. They don't like to be like you saw through them, baby, because you're psychic and you're scrumptious. They don't like that. Let's see what the overall energy is and what the advice for my cancer is going to be today. Oh, baby. This is someone who wants to have the power regardless. You know, uh, right now they're not reaching out. You know, they're not apologizing. They hate to apologize. Do you even want an apology from this person? You have the King of Pentacles here. So, you know, this is someone who's not going to get off their throne no matter what. They're hoping that you're going to come to them. They want you to be weaker, you know. They want you to, to submit to whatever it is that they told you. It could be an energy of someone who was like all of a sudden saying things like, well, let's have an open relationship or let's experiment or somebody like was like, well, let's, you know, do like, you know, let's uh, involve another person in the relationship or something like that. You know, this is this is the kind of douche flu, douche flu test anyone in between who suddenly tells you like, well, I have needs. And I'm going to like, you know, fulfill them no matter what. It's like, you know, we have the relationship or we have like, I have you. You're like, you know, my shining bright star. But at the same time, you know, I need the, I need the hose and, you know, like <laughs> the, the himbos. Like this person needs the hose kind of thing. Ten of swords, you know, your advice here is like, you know, maybe it's better to let something go. If it's causing you so much, how much distress did this, did this person cause you? If you have to come to them, how, is it even worth it? Like, you know, is it time to just like let it all bleed out and let it go? Like literally, Cancer, I'm so sorry. You do have the Knight of Cups though at the bottom of the deck. So new love is coming in because you're always very receptive to love and you understand love. You are love too, baby. Let's see, who is new that's coming in? Hmm, this person's blocking your energy. They betrayed you so much. There's a warning here, Cancer. Do not get stuck on this person thinking everyone's going to betray you. Betrayal is weighing on your mind, the Five of Swords. Five of Swords, betrayal. Tell me more. But there's a new love coming through. Temperance. There's an angel, like an earth angel coming towards you. A lot of healing happening. Uh, but, but cancer, so this is your May 23 energy. I think by June, you're going to feel very different about the situation. I think the terror is telling you to let go of this person because they're nothing but trouble. It's like they're not letting go of you energetically, but they're wanting you to pursue them. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, temperance here is telling me that the healing is coming from within and there's angels around you who will give you healing and scrumptious nips, my baby. So, you know, don't get stuck on, on the darkness of this person, the darkness in this connection, no matter how much time you invest in this person. It's like they're trying to give you the darkness. Don't accept their darkness. That, that's what they carry. That's their problem. It's nothing to do with you, my baby. There's new love coming in. Um, there's healing happening over the next month or so. And then uh, I feel like June is going to be a new start. So there could be new people coming into your life in June. Knight, princess, anyone between in shining armor. All of that good stuff. Someone who really understands love from an abundance perspective, my baby. So this is what I have for you today. Um, let me know in the comments below. This is your douche flute. I'm so sorry, Cancer. This is a dark reading. But, uh, you know, sometimes these things come up. Someone needed to hear this. Maybe you're second guessing yourself, you know, should I give this person another chance? After all, you know, like there's like a lot of too much gaslighting going on here. It's someone very, very, very selfish. You deserve better than that. Always remember, baby, you deserve the cream of the cream, the, uh, the cream of the crop, all of that good stuff. Diamonds and pearls, baby, not this kind of stuff. Um, 
All right, Cancer, let me know in the comments below if this is your douche flute. Uh, douche flute. Also, if you vibe with my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe. And uh, if you would like to get a personal reading with me, all the information is in the description box below. I'll see you next time, my baby. Stay sparkly, stay gorgeous, stay moisturized, and may the angels protect you. Give me nothing.